you're associated with the God is. So what happened before and what happened after? How did that benefit you? Well, well, did it take a minute to benefit you? Well, once Paul got gets killed, I believe it was the 16th, actually. Uh, okay, 16th. But when he gets killed, I'm having dinner with another mob associate that was a well-known uh, guy for the Lucchese family that was a, a hitman himself. And he was a guy that was aggressive since he's a kid. And we're eating dinner, and we knew what was going to happen. What do hitmen talk about at dinner? I got to tell you, he taught me how to, you know, nice guy, yeah. and he taught me how to be aggressive but quiet. Oh, okay. And, you know, as a young kid, that's what he, he talked to me about. Well, he, he would talk about these things <laughs> like you would talk about baseball. Yeah. He'd give me advice how to behave. Yeah. And even as a young guy, he would down the goddess. He didn't like them. Yeah. He said, you know, they're too boisterous. Yeah. They're bad for you. I know it's going to end up, you know, biting you in, in, in the ass eventually. Yeah. And, you know, he was right. And guys, you know, that are in the life, the old timers, they foresee this stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, in, in this life, you got to be, it's like you got to be quiet. Yeah. You, you can't be loud and boisterous. It's the worst thing you can do for yourself to draw attention to yourself. So these are the things he discussed with me. Okay, so back to Gotti. So Paul Castellano gets murdered. Uh, the Gotti regime comes into play, I guess, a few months after. What did that mean for John Lee? Well, I was close to the Gotti family. So supposedly it meant for me that I was going to start making a lot more money. Yeah. And that never happened. Not on their end. They didn't help me make any more money. Right. You know, so what I saw was the first real, real part of that I was looking at was... First crack in the armor. Yeah, it was the first time that I really seen exactly what you're saying is uh, they're full of shit. Yeah. That they're not going to share the wealth. Yeah. They're going to ask me after the hit of Castellano to bring as many guys as they got and keep them on call yeah. and bring guns to our club, which we weren't allowed to do. And so I started carrying more often. They assume afterwards there's going to be, be retaliation. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, within the family, we didn't think there was going to be retaliation. It was an elderly family, the Gambino yeah. family, that faction that was yeah. around Paul. Uh, you know, so there was nobody really left to, to, yeah. to, to do any work for the, or the, any kind of faction that was going to come back at yeah. us. And the, the faction, the younger guys, which Sammy Gravano and Frankie Lacasio and yeah. Frankie DiCicco were all in on yeah. it. So these guys controlled the crews from you know, from Staten Island, Brooklyn to, to the Bronx. So really the, within the, the, our family, there, was, there wasn't gonna be any fallback. Yeah. But outside other crews, we knew the Casey family especially, and we knew the Genovese family weren't gonna put up with it. Got and it. exactly that, they didn't put up with it. Now, as I understand it again, just by reading, is that Paul Castellano was more of a business guy and he wanted to bring it to uh, a whole nother level, kind of indoctrinated it into the fabric of society where John Gotti was a gangster's gangster, where more people ate or they ate better because he took less and wanted these guys to eat. It goes a little bit against kind of what you're saying where, you know, hey, I didn't eat that great under Gotti, but would you say people ate better or more under Gotti than they did under Castellano? No, that's that's laughable. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's selling that story yeah, yeah. To, to a 17-year-old kid. Got it. When Paul was in and, and led the family, you know, did Paul have most of that money in his pocket? I don't know. I wasn't there when they divvied that money yeah. up. Was the family wealthier? Well, 10 times wealthy under Paul Castellano, the Gambino sold, I was family. I sold at the time in the 80s. No, 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 in the 80s, the 70s. The, the, the family was bringing in around $450 million a year, and it was cash on relative terms, may have been bigger than GM at the time. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, it's a fair statement. We're, and wow. you got to remember something. Paul, uh, Carlo Gambino, these yeah. guys were businessmen. They yeah. were intelligent. Carlos, no dummy, that died in his bed. Right, that knew when he was handing over the the the, the power, a power of any corporation, yeah. Yeah. legitimate corporation, yeah. is money, right? Correct. And it is somebody that's smart and could head a, a family, and be a CEO of a company, just like of a mob family. Yeah. And Paul was that guy. And when someone says Paul wasn't a gangster, he was a gangster. He hit more guys than most guys. He didn't personally go out and hit them, but either did John Gotti Senior. Yeah. John Gotti Sr. didn't go out and hit anybody. He did Paul. Did he talk that talk? Yeah, he 